Holy crap, I just got the most killer sided map in Dead by Daylight. You see, a map like this would be much better to have Ruin over Corrupt. However, because it's so killer sided, I don't need it. Do you know what I mean? Should be somebody spawning in the exit gate. Because I'm at this one, they should probably spawn a little bit to the left near that pallet. Do 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 do. Somebody should have left. There they go. Hello, mate. Oh, hello, mate. That's 5% movement speed for Claudette. That's five. Oh, I can't keep in chase. Yes, I can. She's not ready for it. Look at her. She is not fucking ready for it. Baby, I told you, it's fast as fuck. <laughs> she wasn't ready. If she did whatever reason get away, I had 10% permanent movement speed. That shows you... Darling, did you not fall? Alright, thank you, sugar. That shows you the sheer power behind the build. All about understanding when to leave. You can't throw a pallet because you're giving me permanent blood loss. You can't not throw a pallet because I'm going to catch you. It's just such a devastating build, the fungus build. Now, we can already see that's led to the right. Mm, to the left, he's hiding somewhere. There we go. Now I need to make a decision. We're going to just drop him straight away. We're going to leave him on the ground and look for pressure through um, Pop Goes the Weasel. Wasn't quick enough. Remember, we don't have Ruin. So these things are subject to happen. He went up the stairs and to the right. I'm going to go up the stairs and see if I can catch him off. You're a very fast boy. Holy crap, you're a fast boy. You're not going to have balance. Oh, I can M1 that. He didn't drop it. Good for you. Smart play. Didn't drop either. Okay, I feel you. Oh, mate. Better dead hard. Yeah, dead hard. I know I ain't well. You can look, you can point, you can do whatever. I should be able to break this in time and keep my stack of play. I'm going to come in for a chainsaw trade. Not going to be expecting the movement speed, man. Look, catching up to her like that. She's, so, she's panicking. I'm going to M1 through it. That way I can get my stack of 5% movement speed back. So I lost nothing out of that. I got maximum value. I lost one Jenny. Yes, I got pressure on everyone. I learned Ace has dead hard. Mate. Mate, this is not the right play, pal. Oh, darling. Darling, this is not where you parked your car. That one's not going to save you. Look at my movement speed, bub. Look at my movement speed. Not going to save you. And just like that, 120%, even some of the really good loopers get thrown off by it. They're not expecting you to be able to powerhouse through the map so quick. Now, yes, I have Corrupt over Ruin, so I can lose multiple Jennings. They all healed, though. Therefore, I think there's near to no pressure on objective work. I'm not going to bother kicking 5% when I don't have Ruin. Now I gotta walk through everything, yeah? No respect, no nothing. Walking right through it. That's unfortunate, I should have lunged. Now I know this man has a uh, dead hard, but we can still catch him pretty easy, yeah? I need to make sure I'm getting a stack out of him or I'm wasting my time during this chase. Love when he ends the chase directly in front of me. I only... Oh, he left. No, he didn't. That was a mistake, bud. You're telling me that wasn't 2.5 seconds? It had to be 2.9, man. Had to literally have been 2.9 seconds. I hear that. It's all about knowing when to let go of your chase, especially if you don't have Ruin. I should be able to catch him pretty easy. Alright, three healthy people. What do you think they're doing? They're obviously doing gens. I am on the most killer sided map, so we don't have much of a worry in the world. So that's the first hook too. Other guy's going to be by the basement. The other two are MIA because he ran originally back to the direction where he was first found. And he already threw one of the pallets. So let's go back to the basement. Keep pressure on him unless I see that's got to be the other guys. Pretty sure Ace would have been back in this direction. I'm not gonna go hunting for him. I don't have. I, I have time. I don't need to though. I heard a crow. Oh, that is a bad play, bud, wasn't it? That was a really bad play. And then we get maximum value out of Ace. I'm gonna try and get a slap in M1 or a stack of play with your food. Sprint burst. Not gonna get a stack of play. Nah, Bubby, you're gonna need to do more than that. We'll take mass pressure on two targets. The other guy's gotta heal or keep pressure on Jens. He's probably gonna run and heal. Oh, my. You, you stuffed up, darling. You think I'm gonna go for the single or you think I'm gonna go for the two points of damage? 
Obviously going to go for the two points of damage, right? Could have downed the other guy. It didn't matter too much. I just got pressure on him and a stack of play with your food out of him. So for not hitting him, we get 5% movement speed. So we're staying on top of it. He already used his dead heart. He's probably going to run across and try and get the other girl up. Blood spot, blood spot, blood spot. No, he waited here, really. With his iron will. Yeah, sure. Another stack of 5% movement speed. Scratch is coming in and left. Gonna cut him off. No pallet, bud. Gonna sidestep back around and get the guy coming in for the trade. Pressure on him. He's down. He's immobilized. Let's see what we got over here. Got 5%. Look at it. Ace, hello. Another 5%, bud. Free pallet as well, bud. Good. Change of targets. Keep her down, go back for ace. Get my 5% back. No, no, I'm too quick, Bubby. I am way too quick, darling. Way too quick. Ace leave, any scratch marks leaving? He did. We'll leave her immobilized. We'll come in for ace. Get another 5%. Keep pressure on him. We've got one on the ground who needs to be saved. Ace and chase. That Jenny's not looking too good for me. I need to do a hook to get regression on that. You don't have dead hard anymore. You already used dead hard. Don't act like you do. Jump in the locker. Save me a stack. No? Alright, cool. They're gonna go get the other guy up. So now I've stopped the game and made them be altruistic while I'm getting Pop Goes the Weasel regression, yeah? Now I could run straight away and get a hook on the other girl. I don't need to. She just got unhooked. I don't need to. I'm looking for stability through my gens, especially because I, I chose not to have Ruin, so because of that. Scratch is leading to my right-hand side. We're gonna cut him off after we get stable regression. Oh, were they leading left? They just faded. They were leading hardcore left. Alright, oh god. You'd be silly to think I'm not going to lunge through it. Because now I get 5% movement speed. And I'm going to wait so you can't get the safe. Ooh. Balance landing too. Should get my 5% now. Oh. She went the other way. Oh, I'm not going to chase that. He's still got a couple of good jungle gyms there and I don't have everyone. Good, there you go. Still caught up with the toolbox. Coming in for this. Let's get caught up. Now keep in mind, this build works really well on a lot of killers, especially like people like the Plague. Caught it down, get another kick of Pop Goes the Weasel, go back to the basement, because that's where the guy originally dropped with Dead Hard, and he knows he's got two pallets around there. So he's probably going to play to his strengths, which are at the pallets. He's still my play with your food, so I'm just going to look at him, get a free pallet, get 5% movement speed, and I'm going to go use it on somebody else. The whole premises of the build is understanding when to let go of a chase, and when to uh, use your ability to be moving at an incredible speed to down somebody else. There you go, that's a fuck up, isn't it, mate? Hello, pal. You tell me that's not 2.5 seconds. I'm a little sad about that. Scratch is leading to the left, directly on front of me, and that on that little um, metal thing. So we know somebody originally left there. Probably going to be the ace going for that. I'm going to go break that pallet because I don't need pressure from Pop Goes the Weasel at the moment. Other guys been healed. They're going to group heal. Got stability on the regression. Not going to get 5% movement speed from anything right now. So we're going to just break the pallet from the saw rather than M1. Going to come down to the right. Everybody's hurt. So expect a couple of slaps going around. Check every single direction for scratch marks. That's a negative on anything. We're going to come check the one Jenny we haven't been able to check. See that one scratch fading in front of me to the left-hand side? We know somebody's going to be coming out there. We also know this has no work on it, so we're going to go back up through the staircase. We know we've got one player there not on objective. We've got an objective up here with no one on it. Somebody being altruistic. Ace, who no longer has any pallets here. You didn't see it? Lucky me. Down he goes. I know he's got dead hard, so do you think I'm gonna M1 him? If he went through the pallet, I would've M1'd him, yes. But he didn't go through the pallet, so I didn't bother M1ing him. Keep in mind, the whole premises of the build is keeping everyone injured, so they have to throw pallets. They can't save the pallet, preserve the pallet. Ace is back up. Ace is in struggle. And just like this, we need to make sure we're going around getting those M1s on people, yeah? Keeping the pressure. Now, somebody was originally over here. I saw the scratch marks, so I know that. He's already left. Get a nice pop goes the weasel kick. Good stability and regression. Yet again. 
Not where you parked your car, Claudette. <laughs> Claudette is down. I was going to walk halfway and then moonwalk back because I think she was going to step the window. That's why I didn't even check in the window in the first place. But instead, she made a different play and we managed to punish her for it. Not going to kill her in the corner. I'm going to hook her right here. That way, I've kept all the hooks near generators apart from, you know, the dead zone over there. I'm still in a comfortable spot. Claudette is eliminated. Scratches to my left. Two players. One going through the chest. I know where every single player is. We could hear the chest drop. Now, this guy did just come off the hook. Yep. He also has dead heart. And he's also on death hook. He didn't see the pallet to his right, so that's going to hurt him. I had a little stuck on the, the freaking wooden crates. Good play. Alright, he does have dead hard, so he has to leave during that window, or he's dead. Dead hard. There it is. And now he's down. Now would be a perfect opportunity to kill him. Do you think I want to kill him? I don't want him to feel like he was tunneled off hook. I'm gonna leave. I'm just leave him down. That's gonna force altruism on somebody to come save him. She's still got regression from Sparks. Not gonna be able to make value out of my pop. See, that would have been two people working on that and getting it done in 45 seconds. So I should kill him and eliminate him right now. I could tell that both of them were there based on how fast that Jenny got done. There's no way one person did that. I see Scratch is leading to the right, so I know where the other guy is too. He went uh, the back end of that pallet. So I'm going to be able to down her and go straight for him because he, like I said, took the back end of the pallet. I'll be able to cut him off. Didn't come through. Remember, I got 5% movement speed here, bud. I'm going to hide my line. I'm going to twist, and then we're going to come out. I'm probably going to M1 through it because I know he's going to throw the pallet based on the fact it's the only thing that's going to stop me. And he can go get his teammate up. I could have pulled up the saw, you're right, and went for another loot. I don't think it was the right play. I'm going to look at him, get 5% movement speed, and hit the other guy that he chooses to get up. I'm not going to make it in time, because I'm moving at 120% movement speed behind him. He's got no play here, boys. Dead hard? Sure, but look how close I am. Tell me this... I didn't even lunch. I walked up behind him and tapped M1. There, there is near to no outplaying the build that I have right now. Now, yes, you can get gen rushed. If you're uncomfortable with your ability of what you can do in a minute and 20 seconds, you can put on ruin. There are alternative ways. But this just shows you how I took advantage of 5% movement speed through getting pallets done to every pallet. And you might be thinking, well, if they're better loopers, they wouldn't be throwing the pallet and getting hit at the same time. Now, okay, you're correct to a degree, but then you have to adapt your playstyle to counter the fact that they're better loopers. Okay, so they're not throwing pallets. Walk through a pallet with a chainsaw to force them to throw the pallet. Therefore, you're going to have access to 5% movement speed. Value the pallet. Is it a god pallet? Is it a shit pallet? It's a god pallet. I'll walk through with a saw. It's not a god pallet. I'll M1 through it and then I'll mind game it if he tries to play it. There are alternative ways behind how you have to think. You know what, buddy? You can have that. You can have it. It's all yours. It's all yours, man. But that just shows you the sheer power behind a build that I'm referring to as the Fungus build. And I don't, I can't stress it enough. When you're versing really, really good loopers, it does hurt a lot. Now you can see rank reset happens, so I am at rank 5. And these guys are probably around rank 5 to 8. I could feel like a little bit of a misplay that happen now and then. But you get the general gist of things. Like I said, if they were had a lot more experience, they wouldn't be throwing all the pallets, but I'd have to pull up the saw early or pull up the saw late, depending if I wanted the pallets done or the chainsaw hit. So it's just one of those things, right? You need to see the opportunity to M1 and get the stack or to M1 somebody while looking at your obsession to get the stack as well. So you have two chases going at once for the first chase to end. There's a lot of ways to play this build. But anyways, guys, GG well played. If you're watching this one over at YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the Fungus build and uh, don't hesitate to subscribe for more education content like this or pop over to the live streams you see here on at twitch so uh it's a pleasure to have you here guys and i'll see you next time take care